So the results are in. Anyway, I decided to take all this apart. I like everything out of the car. 90. I started thinking. 90. That's what kind of looks 73. Looks like. Those are my quarter mile time. Speed. 16. 15. And 15. But that's not the story. So the Blazer engine is not as fast as the Jag engine, obviously. The proof is here. But that's not the story because the Blazer engine is pretty freaking badass. So I was at the track last night where I was running and um, my first time I launched, you know, um, it felt like the rear tires broke loose or something. Basically, it sent the cart this way. And then I was going down, up down the track, you know, I was kind of wobbling back and forth. And I thought, well, maybe one of my, my drag, I have these Nitto drag slicks. And Nitto drag slicks. And, um, and they, none of, you know, they still have the same air pressure. So I thought, well, maybe, you know, the Jaguar rear end, it's a, it's a, um, it's an independent suspension. I thought, well, maybe one of the trailing arms is pushing the broke. So, you know, I, I checked it out and I didn't see nothing there. So in the second run, you know, I, I cooked the tires off a little bit more, got them strong, heated up in them. And I launched in them. It still was a little squirrely, but not as bad as the first time. But it was, the tires were like squealing, and I'm like, what's going on? They're like, wee, 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 all the way down the track. So my third time I went, I really cooked the tires off in them. And um, it did the same thing. But um, when I got mid-track, it started getting speed wobbles. This, the front, I don't know if it was the front or rear speed wobbles, so. And then when I let off, it smoothed out. So, you know, I got to the pits and I took off the front wheel and checked and, you know, looking at the suspension components or anything where something was loose or broke or bent and you know, everything was fine. I put the wheel back on and, and I checked the rear end and you know, everything was still solid. So I figured, you know, something's wrong with the car. So I, I just came home and put the, took the slicks off and I came home and then when I was telling Deanna about it, she's like, well, that's weird. It's never done that before. And so I'm like, no, it hasn't. You know, I was thinking about it, thinking about it. So my conclusion was that actually the front wheel was coming off the ground, was causing the car to act in this, all these weird ways. So driver's side front wheel is coming off. It doesn't have positive traction. So this... The rear, rear, uh, rear right tire sending it to the wall, which is exactly what it did. Came back and it was just squirrely all the way down the track. And, and then my last third run, the slowest run, when you know, when it started getting the speed walls, I let off and it, it smoothed out, instantly smoothed out. So that's my conclusion is that the front wheel was coming off the ground and it was holding <laughs> or just barely touching. And, and the right wheel, I could hear it just like, so, you know, I mean, it had full, you know, it was, it was pretty much squatting pretty hard in them. And that's what my conclusion was. I thought it was something was broke or bent or loose in them. So, next Friday night, the drags, I'm bringing someone to take some pictures and photos and video so I could show everybody how awesome it is. So it may not be the fastest, but the Blazer engine is badass in its own way. All right, we'll talk to you guys again. Next Friday now, I'm going to have some photo, photo or video proof of what I'm telling you.